What's up, guys? Hope you're enjoying your lunch so far. It's lunch for me, and I just watched the 1920 football drive video that just dropped by the Chicago Bears a few hours ago. And honestly, what an interview with Ryan Poles. I love that he was able to break down all of the different types of moves that he made. He talked in depth about the Justin Fields trade and how difficult it was for him. And overall, just great transparency from the general manager in order to talk about what's next for this team and what he's going to do with that number one overall pick in the 2024 NFL draft. I mean, it's completely obvious. He definitely hinted at it. But it's exciting to know that our GM has a transparency with the fans. So hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Before we begin today's show, if you're excited about the moves that the Chicago Bears have made this past offseason, please hit that like button on this video so more Bears fans see this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Giveaway dropping on Monday for all my subscribers to enter. You're not going to want to miss it. But let's go into the overall review of the Chicago Bears um, overall 1920 drive video. So polls opened up with the information about trading quarterback Justin Fields, which clearly was very difficult for him. I mean, the interview opened up with, quote, moving on from Justin was one of the more difficult things I've had to do on the job. Sometimes I wish he wasn't such a great human being because it would have been a lot easier. But you had the opportunity in the draft with the number one overall pick, and it's going to change this franchise dramatically. I totally get it. I mean, his kid was the number one Justin Fields fan, honestly, from what he's explained in previous interviews. So this was super difficult for him. But I mean, Poles is still talking about it. He's not like, yeah, whatever. It's done and over with. Clearly, he is upset about what happened, but he also is looking out for what's best with the franchise. And that's why I'm a big Ryan Poles guy. I think Poles did the right thing here in order to continue to build this franchise moving forward, be able to be, uh, put the right pieces in the right play. And also he said that he wanted to do right by Justin by trading him to a team that would give him an opportunity, whether it be this year or down the road. And with Russell Wilson only on a one-year deal, who knows? Fields could be the starter in Pittsburgh next year, could revamp his career. So overall, that was kind of like the main topic, but he's excited for what's next for Justin Fields. And he's even more excited for what's next for the franchise. Uh, Poles then went and talked about keeping key pieces in Chicago. So his first things first was obviously talking about cornerback Jalen Johnson and keeping him a part of the, fran the franchise moving forward as a part of a key plan for this team. I, I mean, overall, guys, really excited that Jalen Johnson came back to the Chicago Bears cheaper than the franchise tag, at least from a cap hit standpoint. You know, there's probably bonuses and incentives and other ways in there that Jalen Johnson is going to make easy money. But th that was a big thing for Ryan Poles. And also talking about last year, how they kept Cole Komet and extended him. They also want, are planning on keeping DJ Moore after his contract is up. And shout out to Roundtable Sports for the sick DJ Moore shirt. Um, overall, the Bears, uh, Ryan Poles definitely said that the last year team is doing all the right things. It was going in the right direction. It's what exactly I wanted as a GM of the Chicago Bears. And I want them to continue to build. The team obviously won four of their last six games. He hit on that a little bit, talking about you know, the importance of keeping this team together for a long time because he sees that this team is not far off and he's built this team right now in order to get to where they need to be and be like a Kansas City Chiefs, be like a New England Patriots, just have really good teams for a long time. If you're just joining into the chat, by the way, guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you put an FGB or a bear down in the live chat right now. So I know you guys are there, but today we're talking about the reaction to Ryan Pohl's interview that he had on 1920 football drive. And going back into what's on the screen right now, the key pieces, you know, talking about keeping T Tevin Jenkins, you know, Nate Davis, he even hit on a little bit talking about Nate Davis being part of the future for this team. I think everything is going in the right direction for this franchise, guys. I mean, they are not far off at all from being a contender. They almost were a contender last year. If the Bears would have beat the Packers, Bears would have been in the playoffs. If they would have beat Detroit, they would have been in the playoffs, which I think that game was rigged, by the way. If they didn't fall apart against Cleveland, they would have been in the playoffs. This team was so close. And when you're a seven-win team and considered the worst team in your division, that's a big win. That's a huge win. The NFC North is super tough. You had two wins against NFC North teams. Polls hit on that too. And just creating and making this team better for the future. So let's go up. Before we keep going more, I like seeing this, guys. Bear down, everybody. Bear down. And then a little FGB as well. Love to hear that. Thanks for tuning in during your lunch, by the way, guys. This is my lunch. I uh, definitely wanted to take a break and talk to you guys a little bit today because I know I didn't drop a video, but I got a cool video dropping tomorrow for you guys. 
let's go into some of those key pieces. Obviously, the big one was Jalen Johnson, which I'm pumped about. And if you guys are pumped about it too, let's hear it in the live chat right now. But that was a huge part. And then Jalen Johnson actually talked in this interview for a little bit how he's excited to stay a part of this team. He's excited for what's next for the franchise. Uh, he wanted to stay. He never wanted to get to where he was, but he's happy a contract got done. It's not going to change who he is as a leader. It's not going to change who he is as a player. And J Johnson put that in words. It's in video. So good to go there. I I'm happy to hear that. I hope another Eddie Jackson situation doesn't happen where, you know, you get paid and then you just be like, Hey, I don't want to do this anymore. I want Jalen Johnson. And I, I think Jalen Johnson has a different personality. He's so appreciative of being on this team, and the opportunities he's been given, and he's going to play to the highest potential and be worth every single dollar. So super excited about that. And then also Johnson came out and talked about that. He's been actually working with the DB room at the moment. So he's been talking to the guys. He's been, you know, working with them in the off season, getting to know them, you know, working with Kevin Byard, who's going to be the other leader, which I'll hit on in a minute. But this team, they're excited about it. Jalen Johnson's super excited for this team. He says that we're the team that we we know who we are. And a lot of people are not going to like what we bring to the table next year because they're going to be a team that is going to be super difficult to play. And that's also what polls kind of hit on. I'll hit in that in a little bit. But overall, kind of speaking to that, you know, a big addition that the Ryan Poles and they interviewed Kevin Byard as well, coming to this team and replacing Eddie Jackson. You know, Byard is super excited to be in Chicago. Obviously, he's been with Tennessee most of his career, two time Pro Bowler, two time All Pro. Last year, I mean, the last three years, he's had 100 plus tackles, which is great. He's playing at a top level. He's 30 years old. So we have him on a two year contract, which honestly, one of my favorite signings this past year. I think a really good ball player. Uh, but overall, he's really excited to be here for multiple different reasons. Uh, Poles said himself, he's an all pro safety who could come in and make some noise right away, along with enhancing our young group of guys, unquote. Bayer then came in and said that he actually invited the entire DB room out to California to do some work with him, connecting with them and showing them new skills that he knows that he can help enhance them with. Said most of the guys ended up coming out, which I think is great for building this team. I think it's just absolutely huge building that leadership. And he even said, he's like, this is Jalen Johnson's room. This is who Jay, like this is Jalen Johnson's team, but I want to be a leader alongside of him. So happy to see that the Chicago bears are involving him in that way that he's taking on that responsibility. And I think he was a really, really uh, good signing overall. So let's go back into a little bit more. So we talked about Kevin Byer. We talked about Jalen Johnson and also Ryan Poles is super pumped about the secondary room as well. A guy that they were ecstatic about getting, and I'm not saying Keenan Allen, is tight end Gerald Everett. I mean, Poles actually talked about him, honestly, the longest out of all the players. Uh, why he's excited about him? Because he said, quote, I love the combination of him and Komet. Going to be very difficult for opponents, unquote. And that's something that he's been saying this entire time, that he built this roster in order to be difficult against other opponents. No matter who it is on the field, there's always going to be a high level of difficulty for our opponents to cover. And he definitely hit on that with Keenan Allen, especially with our head scout. Um, and then they brought Gerald Everett on. First thing he says, Cole Komet and I are going to complement each other really, really well. Showing that there's already that dynamic duo there. They're talking about it. They're getting excited overall. I'm excited to see Gerald Everett come in as a leader and you know already talking to Komet and knowing that these two are going to be dangerous. Not only that, he's played on three separate teams that Shane Waldron has been a part of, and he said that's what excited me the most about coming to Chicago, was playing under Shane again in order to make this team as good as possible. I love his offense. It's super tight end friendly, and we're going to be a dangerous combination of Komet and I. On top of that, too, I thought it was kind of cool that Everett talked about like the Bears are a family. Like this is like one of the most historic family franchises in the NFL. Not only that, but Shane Waldron's a big family man. That made me want to come here. So the Bears are making moves with their coaches, with other players that make other players want to come, and that makes Chicago a more attractive place to play. And that's only going to trickle as years go on. You have a good culture, you have a good franchise, you have players that are happy. Other players are going to want to come and play for this franchise. Let's go into the live chat real quick. We got some more Bears down. So thanks. Thanks guys for tuning in bear down bear down keep throwing them in the live chat guys and if you haven't already if you please please could hit that like button so more bears fans see this video it helps it out tremendously and also subscribe if you haven't already once i hit 15,000, which we're getting close i'm going to do a giveaway but i'm also doing a giveaway on monday so if you're subscribed you're automatically in for that one so the draft is not too far away either which i'm super excited about make sure you get your tickets to our 2024 nfl draft party at 6 p.m at rizzo's bar and in we have over 60 people rsvp'd so far we have another 100 that are interested it's going to be one of the biggest bears parties in the entire chicagoland area make sure you go to our our 
Twitter. That's where the Eventbrite link is. And I will put it in the live chat right now for you guys as well. So super excited for what's next. Um, I'm super excited to see you guys there. It's going to be a really, really um, good time overall at the draft party. So let's go back into, and while I'm putting that in the live chat for you guys, I will make sure Again, please hit that like button. Um, let's go through some of the other acquisi ac ac acquisitions that we have made for the Chicago Bears. And wide receiver Keenan Allen was a massive pickup. So Ke Allen kind of talked about what happened when he found out um, about being coming to the Chicago Bears. He said he was literally playing Madden, just sitting on his couch, and suddenly he got a phone call, and he's like, hey, you've been traded to the Chicago Bears. Uh, by the way, I put the link to our draft party in the live chat. If you can make it, would love to see you guys there. We have other podcasters. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but let's go back into quickly what Keenan Allen had to say. So he literally said he was on the couch playing Madden when he found out that he was going to the Chicago Bears, which it truly shows how fast this stuff happens, guys. And one thing that he said out of the gate was he was excited because he said he was really, really excited about becoming part of the Chicago Bears and Poles is as well. Poles saying, quote, we have more play playmakers that impact the game than most teams. We have playmakers that will finish in the fourth quarter, score a lot of points and cause opposing defenses to work really hard to cover the entire field. That's what we're trying to do here and building one of the most dynamic offenses in the NFL, unquote. Bears love what they see in Keenan Allen. And our top scout kind of hopped on and talked about some of the things that he brings. So what makes Keenan Allen so dangerous is that he understands coverages, how he can get open, that veteran status of how to go against other opposing defenses. Really good at also bringing a, uh, younger guys up to speed. So like Tyler Scott, maybe Roma Dunes and Malik Neighbors or whoever we end up taking at wide receiver in this draft, if we do take one, he can bring them up to speed in order to get that done. Not only that, apparently, according to our coaching... Ryan Poles and our head scout is that overall the bears think that he has the most elite one-on-one -on -one playmaking ability in the NFL in the bears eyes. And that gives the ability in Shane Waldron's offense to expand. So it was an overall move that helped make this offense a lot better. And he's excited to be a part of the Chicago bears. He's excited to be here for a while. He also kind of hinted, which I was kind of cool that he wants to be here for whoever quarterback one is and knowing that he always has their back. Clearly, he was at the USC Pro Day, got to link up with Caleb Williams, has worked with him too, and Caleb Williams follows him on Instagram. I know that's a big thing in 2024, but super exciting stuff overall that we brought in Keenan Allen. The Bears were super pumped about it, and uh, I'm super pumped about it too. What's up, guys? We got so Hey, Levante, nice to see you, man. Uh, what's up, chat? Guys, you know, keep going in the live chat, guys. At the end, I'll make sure that I see everybody. We got a bear down over here. Um, let's see. Justin might've been the dream quarterback that we all thought would see, but Caleb is the best arm talent Chicago will have ever seen. I, you know what? This kid's going to be dangerous. I couldn't agree more. It's so exciting that the Chicago bears have just all this talent right now. I mean, this is one of the best rosters that I've seen and we haven't even stepped on the field yet. So super excited about that guys. And if you are too, let's hear it in the live chat. Other than Williams, what did polls hint on about the draft? He was very selective about what he said. Uh, talked about just what's happened this past off season but not too much more. Uh, he did one sentence that I picked up was that he said, quote, I'm excited for the playmakers that we can still continue to get. So it sounds like he does have plans to bring in playmakers this upcoming off season, whether that be through three agency that, you know, you got Tyler Boyd over in free agency or obviously the draft at number nine. Um, so keep going those bear down in there guys. Also, please like the video if you haven't already. Uh, let's go into another big pickup for the Chicago Bears, which was DeAndre Swift, which that was actually the second guy that they talked about. But they talked about him before Keenan Allen, which I thought was crazy. Poles said he was ecstatic that he fell into the Bears' lap and was actually wanting to come to the Chicago Bears. I mean, that's why we signed him so quickly. Poles wanted, quote, a dynamic playmaker that could do it all from the backfield, and he feels that Swift can bring that, unquote. Bears scouts obviously agree with that. They wanted a guy who showed mutual interest in playing for the Chicago Bears. And our scouts say, quote, he's versatile and dangerous that will make this offense go over the top with him, Herbert, and Johnson. So it doesn't sound like we're taking a running back anymore this year, guys. It sounds like the running back group is put together. And then Swift was interviewed, and this is where I was like, hell yeah. Super excited for this guy to be a Chicago Bear. Uh, he said, quote, I believe in everything about this team in everything that they're building. I've been watching them and I'm excited about it. And this is where I needed to be unquote super pumped about that. I mean, like obviously a feel good quote, but just super excited overall guys that um, really, really think that they made the right decisions. They brought in guys that wanted to be Chicago bears and overall I'm, I'm pumped about this super, 
there's still time to bring in free agents, which is crazy. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. There's a free agent that's been slightly linked to the Bears that I did a full coverage on. So you guys will see that tomorrow. He might even be signed by tomorrow, which is crazy. So stay tuned for that. Um, going back really quickly, the uh, Bears also hit on bringing in Ryan Bates and also uh, Coleman Shelton and what they're excited about with them because both guys can play center and guard. And with a 53-man roster, obviously that gives more versatility that you're able to play guys in multiple different positions. And so you don't have to worry about you know cuts as hard. Like You have guys that can play multiple different positions. You can have more at some other positions that you feel are needed, such as like wide receiver, tight end, because you know Waldron does need more than two tight ends in his offense. But both offensive, they, the Bears, Ryan Poles and Scouts said both, both these guys, Ryan Bates and Coleman Shelton, improve the offensive line instantly. Both can play guard and center, and both are getting about getting into space and making key blocks. So it, I don't think that we're going to end up going with a center in this draft at the moment, how it looks. I mean, Cedric Van Prom maybe at 75, or we trade back nine, get a second, and then we get Zach Frazier. But it sounds like our offensive line is meeting the expectations of the front office. So I'm not too worried about it at the moment. But still, super exciting time for the Chicago Bears, um, especially bringing in some of the key offensive line additions. I like them. I mean, we'll definitely hear what you guys have to say. Um, keep it up, guys. Keep those uh, bear downs and FGBs. Um, uh, bear down any ED that can be available in a trade if we pick wide receiver or alt at nine. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think about that one. Uh, Derek, hey, I'm looking for an NFL draft. I'm tired of hearing about all this. Oh, this is just an exciting video to talk about, like how polls has been, you know, dealing with the offseason, Derek. So I, I get it. I want the NFL draft too. Uh, I really want Pro Bowl future defensive end at number nine. I think there there is a good possibility. We brought in Chop Robinson, Jared Verse, and Dallas Turner that we could take in a blue chip guy like that to pair with Verse. But also next year, there are so many guys in the NFL draft next year that could fill in that edge position. I mean, this defense is already elite, in my personal opinion, just with Montez Sweat. So they can, you know, Dominique Robinson, Demarcus Walker, I think will do a great job. But if we do take one at nine, wouldn't be mad about it. Um, quickly, one of the last things that I wanted to talk about with Ryan Poles is that keeping the key pieces from last year's roster was huge for him. You know, again, Jalen Johnson, but also talking about how the big, he talked about it. He's like the big holes we had to fill was tight end two. did that with Gerald Everett running back one did that with Deandre Swift, nothing against Khalil Herbert or anything, but also Herbert's on the last year of his contract. So they're kind of playing, planning ahead here, talking about center and guard, Ryan Bates and Coleman Shelton. And then uh, on top of that, too, another wide receiver to pair with DJ Moore, Keenan Allen. So he on the Bears board, they addressed the key areas of need that they wanted to address, which I think is super awesome. I think that they did all the right moves. I mean, this team is going to be dangerous next year. It's better than last year. Our opponents next year aren't as challenging at the moment. So I'm really excited about Ryan, what Ryan Pulls had to put together. But to sum it all up for you guys, I'm not done with this video yet. Going to go to the live chat in a minute if you guys have any questions. Just to sum it all up for you guys, Poles is excited. We're excited. He felt that this team got better. He felt the coaching staff's better. Feels like they've done everything right entering the NFL draft in order to address everything that they need to do with this team. So I am super excited about. It. I couldn't agree more. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do for you guys right now um, is I'm gonna pull up the Chicago Bears opponents for 2024, and I want to hear in the live chat right now what you guys are feeling out of it because. Poll sounds very confident entering 2024 with what we have on the roster right now. Um, so let me pull it up for you guys. I'm going to look at the live chat real quick before we do so. So thanks everybody for tuning in um, and commenting. Please like the video if you haven't already. Let's go into the live chat. So, all right, we got fix the offensive line, bear down, bear down. Uh, FR Martin, this is actually a shirt that I'm going to post in a couple of days that you guys can go out and get. It's got to get updated with Caleb Williams in the middle, but um, it's a super sick shirt that I got from a good buddy of mine. So really excited about that. And thank you, Santana. I appreciate it. By the way, guys, at the NFL draft party, I'm going to be giving away some uh, just another year t-shirts. So if you guys are at the NFL draft party, you definitely will come up, find me. Let's. Uh, I'm, they're going to go fast. Just so you guys know, I'm only giving away a few of them but I'll be giving them away. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, Levante, remember, Nick, we got nine picks next year with the possibility of more picks. Yep, totally agree. So next year, is, is a, this is a blue chip type tra uh, draft right now. So let's go into the Bears 2024 opponents, guys. Like I, I kind of want to break that down for you guys because I think that this team is not far off at all. And I'm going to start sharing my screen right now with you all so you guys can see what I'm seeing. But let me know... 
So let's let's go in. I got you guys over here so I can uh, break it down a little bit easier. So right now you can see that the Chicago Bears at home are playing the Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, Rams, uh, Seahawks, Jaguars, Titans, Panthers, and Patriots. One of our home games this year, though, is in the UK, which I plan on going to that game. If you guys are too, make sure we stay in touch about that. Would love to link up with you guys there. But looking at this right now, we beat the Lions almost twice last year. So I can guarantee you one win. We, and that win was at home. Let's call that a win. Green Bay Packers, Montez Sweat said it himself. Bears are done losing to the Packers. So that's Montez Sweat. I'm going to take that as a win too. The Minnesota Vikings have gotten worse. They obviously don't have Kirk Cousins anymore. They don't lost a lot of big pieces on defense. They don't have Daniel Hunter anymore. That's a win right there. So I'm looking at a sweep at home of NFC North opponents. Then you have the Rams who are, you know, in a weird spot right now. I'm going to call, I'm going to come back to that one real quick, but then you got the Seahawks rebuilding. That's a win right there. So four out of the five games are going to be a win. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars are probably going to be a tough team uh, to play against. Depending on when we play them, that'll be an advantage if we win or not. But I'm not going to go to that one either. Uh, the Tennessee Titans, I don't think, are going to be a good team next year, in my personal opinion, as good as they a lot of people could think. They have a new head coach. They have a lot of new things going. So I'm going to chalk that up as a win. And then the Panthers and Patriots are wins. So right there, out of my nine home games, I'm thinking seven wins right there. And let's just hear... Um, Let's just hear overall what you guys are thinking too. Let's put your win predictions in the chat right now. But then you go to the away games. Obviously, the Lions, Packers, and Vikings. One of those is going to be a loss. It's just tough to play on the road. But let's say we win two of those. So now I'm at nine wins right there. Uh, the Cardinals, I think, are going to be a sneaky team this year. So I'm going to not guarantee that a win. The Niners, total toss-up. I think the Niners have the advantage of Texans is going to be a good game. I don't think we win that game, though, because it's in Houston. Colts are a tough team, and who knows with the Commanders. So overall, I already see 11 wins out of this team right now. I want to hear what you guys have to think in the live chat right now. But, I mean, like, not a bad team, not a bad schedule overall. I think that this team could be really special. It's it's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really, really tough. But I think we're an 11-win team at the moment. So I'm going to go to the live chat real quick and see what you guys are thinking because I see you guys are commenting. Oh, wow. We got a lot of comments right now. Um, let's just see what we got right here. Just out of curiosity. I've never heard of Freshly, so I checked them out. I saw you on their Insta a lot. Are you part owner or something? Nope. Uh, I am just sponsored by Freshly Organic Tequila Seltzer, so you guys can see that right there. They're going to be actually sponsoring the draft party, so tons of free Freshly um, and free swag. Uh, this is one of their hats. They'll be giving away hats too. So make sure you guys come to the draft party. I'll put the link in the live chat in a minute again. Um, but let's see. So Santana, we got 13 wins for sure. Love to hear it. FR Martin, we got 12 wins. Uh, Notorious eight wins. Isn't good enough. Yep. I couldn't agree more. Six to seven home wins. I like that one. I'm, you guys definitely want to pay up to go to bears home games this year. Not only for Caleb Williams, but the fact that we're going to win a lot. CEO snow game, 11 to 12 wins. FR Martin 13, maybe, but at least 12 love that intensity. You should be winning at least 10 games this year. That's what we're going to need in order to make the playoffs, especially in the NFC North. Santana, 13 wins. Levante, 11 to 13 wins. What's up, King Bookie World? Night, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, 11, 12, 13 wins. Easy. I love that. Sunny, 11 and 6. Squeegee, uh, 11 and 6. I mean, overall, guys, it's going to be a really good season for this team, but I'm happy to hear that Ryan Pulse feels that he's put together the team in order to do that. Um, and we got Ernie. Bear down, FGB, and uh, <laughs> F-Tom B. I love that, guys. But uh, overall, super excited about what has to happen this upcoming season. I think Poles did a great job breaking it all down and good transparency. Uh, 11 wins with an offensive line, 2-0 and versus Green Bay. I love it. And Santana in Poles we trust. So super excited overall for everything that's going on, guys. I'm going to put the – so going back real quick for our NFL draft party, I just put it in the live chat. But it is, uh, it is sponsored by Freshy Organic Tequila Seltzer on April 25th, starting at 6 p.m. We have other podcasters coming like Deeks View. We have Swifty Sports Network. Uh, we have Ville from Three Point Stand. We have Chris Multi from DeBear's News on Instagram. And we have some other influencers coming as well. We're trying to get some uh, former and current players to come. So stay tuned for that. But so far, we got over 60 people coming. We have over 100 people interested. I want you guys to be there. Your ticket is a donation to a Chicago nonprofit called College Bound Opportunities. I was a part of them. I wouldn't be sitting here right down if it wasn't for them. 
Um, so would really appreciate you guys getting a ticket. It's in the live chat right now. Also, if it makes it easier for everybody, if you're watching on a computer, uh, I will. I just put it up on the screen. You can scan that QR code. It takes you right to the ticket page. So really would appreciate you guys if you guys show up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see you guys there. But overall, guys, um, bear down for Puerto Rico. If you guys are calling in, let's hear what you guys have to say. Um, call it, Say where you're calling in from before we close out today's show. But super appreciative of all of you guys always tuning in, always supporting the channel. Uh, without you guys, none of this would be possible. So, and again, big giveaway coming on Monday. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You're automatically entered when you're a subscriber. Uh, but really excited for what has to come for this upcoming season. Wanted to give you guys a quick lunch break update. Excited to hear what you guys have to say. But with that, throw an FGB in the live chat. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share your thoughts. But with that, thank you as always for tuning this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Dick Rohde, and as always, bear down, baby.